Welcome to the Adrian College Boathouse. My name is Bart Thompson. I'm the head coach of the Adrian College men's and women's rowing teams. We're going to give you a tour of the boathouse today, show you around, show you what makes it so special. Let's head on in. First thing we have here as we walk into the boathouse is this lounge space. Uh, it's an open common area. A lot of times you can find our rowers just hanging out here, relaxing. It's also a space that the coaches use to meet with the coxswains before practice to discuss practice plans and what we want to be doing that day. Um, it's also an area that we meet with recruits either when they're arriving at the boathouse for the first time or as kind of a final wrap up before they depart from the boathouse. So up next here we have the erg room, obviously a staple of any rowing team. Uh, a couple great features about it. One is its size. As you can see, it's an uh, expansive space capable of fitting up to 75 ergs really comfortably. So another great part of this room is the storage room we have here. It houses all of our ergs, as well as all the tables and chairs needed to house an event here. Up to 120 people can sit in here at one time. The school uses this commonly for wedding receptions, dinners, we also use it for post-regatta dinners. Often we'll take an opposing team, invite them to have dinner here after we race at Devil's Lake. Great way to foster some camaraderie between competitors. Additionally, we have these flat screen TVs. There's one here, there's also one on the other side of the erg room. Uh, smart television, so you can either watch you know, footage of yourself rowing, or you can pop in a movie to make those steady state meters go by a little faster. Additionally, we've got a great sound system in here. You'll see the speakers in the rafters of the room. Allows for a high energy environment. It really cranks the tunes up while we're getting those uh, high intensity pieces. It makes those splits a little easier to pull. All right, so from here, we're gonna move from the erg room to one of the best parts of the boathouse, the gorgeous view from the deck. Let's head outside. Another great aspect of our lake and this deck is the way that we're able to watch races. Specifically, race course number one, our primary course, starts down at Echo Cove, runs on a diagonal to the northwest, finishing up here at Grass Island. And this deck allows us to have a great view of the finish line. Right when the boats come across the finish, you've got a great perpendicular view and you can tell who's won right away. Uh, it's shaped like a large backwards L. We're sitting at the north end of that. So as you go down to the south, you have 4K from here to the south end. Uh, and then at the bottom of the lake, you also have a little over 2K east-west. And the great thing about that shape is it allows us to find good water pretty much regardless of the way the wind is blowing. Um, additionally, uh, as you can see, we've got our docks here. Uh, two docks, you know, the west and east side, make for a really great uh, traffic pattern. Gives us plenty of space to launch, even when we're launching a ton of small boats. Uh, we've got our gorgeous apron out here. Uh, with the large stone paved A. An additional aspect of the deck that makes it great for spectators uh, is the fact that it wraps all the way around the boathouse. So you can access it not just from the yurt room, but from the parking lot. Uh, fun fact, when we have visiting teams here for regattas, they actually put their food tents up on the sides of the deck. Uh, makes it easy for them to get from their tent to this prime viewing place. The last great feature of the deck as it relates to training is that it's actually deep enough for an erg. So on a gorgeous day like today, you're often gonna see rowers actually coming out here, putting an erg on the deck, and getting their workout in out here as opposed to inside. All right, we've shown you the deck. Let's head on inside and see the fireplace as well as the kitchenette. All right, so one unique aspect of our boathouse is the fireplace. Uh, it can be really helpful in those early spring rows when you're looking to warm up. Uh, it's not just artisanal, it does actually work. It simply turns on with a click of a button. All right, so as we continue on here, we get to the kitchenette. This is a great space for keeping fruit, apples, bananas, oranges, um, or Nutri-Green bars, peanut butter and jelly and bread. Uh, just allows our rowers to get a healthy, nutritious snack 
after practice before they head out, sometimes going straight to class. All right, let's move on and check out the coach's offices. So here we have the coach's offices. Myself and both my assistants have one. Allows us to do all the work we need to out here at the boathouse. All right, now we're gonna head into the women's and men's locker rooms. Uh, these spaces have 50 plus half lockers, uh, so more than enough lockers for each rower to get their own. Uh, each locker contains a large open space as well as a smaller lockbox for personal items. Each locker room also has two showers uh, as well as a fully equipped bathroom space. Fun fact about the bathroom space, there are postcards on the wall that actually show old photos of Devil's Lake in the community here using the lake. Here we have the conference room. Uh, this is a great space for sometimes small team meetings, but very often, uh, I'd say the most common use for it is the coxswain meetings that we have weekly during the season. Those allow us to put video up on, again, a smart television that we have, um, watch footage of the coxswains, uh, listen to audio of their races, as well as video and audio of other coxswains from other schools and national teams, using that as a tool to help them get better and improve their ability in the boat as well. All right, let's head on downstairs, see the boat bay level. All right, so as we arrive here in the lower level lobby, uh, the main feature I want you to focus on is the floor to ceiling Adrian College rowing crest. In particular, what I love about this crest is this phrase, Palma non sine labore. It's actually a phrase that's engraved on the shepherd's cane uh, that has every ribbon on it from, that lists every graduate of the college going back to the 1860s. It's a very important cane. It's brought out every year at commencement, passed from a senior class officer to a junior class officer. And so essentially it's one of the first uh, original mottos of the college. And it translates from Latin as no victory without work. As a sport that is built entirely on how much work you're willing to put in, I can think of no better motto. Uh, we love it, we think it connects really well to the history of the college, and so we're proud to have that as the official uh, motto or slogan of Adrian College Rowing. All right, so now we're gonna head into the boat bay, the crown jewel of the boathouse, and see all of our gorgeous shells. So, I may be a bit biased, but I don't think there's a team in the country that has a fleet as nice as ours. If you look around the boathouse, you'll see 28 shells, all of which were purchased in the first 13 months of the program. In year one, we bought 18 shells. In year two, we bought 10 more. Many of you, if you're like me, were used to one, maybe two shells new in your entire time you ever rode. So for us to have 18 brand new shells, custom colored, custom painted, it's pretty amazing. In this first bay here, we've got the fours. Uh, as we move to the second row, we have eights, more eights in row three. And then on the far side of bay two, as well as all of Bay 3 is all of our small boats. We've got 16 pair of doubles and two singles, which is pretty amazing. Additionally, when you walk into the boat bay on your right, one of the first things you'll see is the equipment cabinet, which has the coach's toolboxes, boat lights, the straps, as well as the actual speed coaches, charging stations, cox boxes, coaches megaphones, generally anything you need equipment-wise. Spare parts, you name it, we have it. All right, so now we're gonna cap everything off by heading outside. All right, so as we finish up the tour here, we've got the apron area of the boathouse. This is where we head out every day when we launch, uh, when we are rigging. Uh, this is where we are as well. That's a great expansive space. I think the boathouse, you know, you get a sense of the size of it a little bit from the street, but honestly, I think when you come out here, you stare up at it from the lake, you get a real idea of how absolutely massive and gorgeous this facility is. My personal favorite view of the boathouse is from right here. All right, thanks so much for taking the time to do this virtual tour of the boathouse. I hope you really enjoyed it. I want to thank my rower Rudy behind the camera for all of his work. Hopefully you'll come out and actually see it for yourself in person in the near future. Have a great day. Go Bulldogs.